This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Delmarva Canine in Pittsville. Puppies come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors, but green usually isn't one of them. Nope. The last of seven puppies born to Bulldog Freya was green. Trevor Mosier and his wife say the pup was enclosed in a black sack. They assumed the puppy was stillborn. But when they cleaned it off, they realized it was alive and green. I'm kind of amazed, really. Like, um, as rare as it seems to be, uh, I feel very lucky to, to have witnessed it and be a part of it. Um, I know you hear stories about things like that, but to actually be there and, and witness it. The rare discoloration is thought to happen when light-colored puppies come in contact with a green pigment found in bile. Since her birth, the green pigment has faded day by day and will continue to do so until she is older. Yeah, the, <laughs> the first thing I thought of was yeah. mint chocolate chip ice cream was, was right there. Right, and right. Now I want ice cream. <laughs> when do you not want ice cream? Anyway, <laughs> some names recommended for the puppy include Wasabi, Fiona, Halkett and Pistachio. Pistachio is the best name. I want ice cream all the time. Yes, just absolutely. To, yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't have any green puppies in today's Pet Connect, but we sure do have some adorable ones among the group. We begin at the Humane Society of Wicomico County in Salisbury. This is Jersey. Jersey is a two-year-old female pit bull mix. She is as gentle as can be. Shelter workers say they can't imagine why she hasn't found her forever home yet. She's not too big. She gets along with cats and dogs, and she's sweet as pie. Aww. Meet Eloise. Look at that face. You'll Aww. find this sweet pup at Talbot Humane in Easton. Eloise is a very large two-year-old Mastiff mix that has been at the shelter for more than 200 days. Now, she doesn't realize she's as big as she is and would really benefit from a family with lots of patience for her energy and size. Eloise would do well with older kids in the family. Now, this smart girl knows how to sit and is amazing in a crate. You won't hear a peep out of her. She is one of the best office dogs at the shelter and is going to make a fantastic couch cuddler. <laughs> You'll find Willie B at the Brandywine Valley SPCA in Georgetown. Willie is friendly, playful, and knows how to have a good time. If you are looking for a handsome young guy to go on all the adventures with, he's your dog. Sunny is also at Brandywine. This sweetheart rightly named because he has a sunny disposition and loves to give headbutts. <laughs> Is he practicing for wrestling? Moving on. From the Worcester County Humane Society in Berlin, that's where you'll find Cheeto. Cheeto is a year old. She is a little timid at first, but warms up quickly and enjoys being pet and talked to. Cheeto is unique because orange tabby cats are typically male cats. Interesting. So take a look at these beautiful oh. blue eyes. This blue-eyed girl is Twinkle. She is six years old. Twinkle loves attention and is a master biscuit maker. Oh, she's just she's just looking into your soul with those eyes and saying, take me home. I, I, I couldn't, there was a screen there, I can't take her. <laughs> I wish I could. Those, those eyes are gorgeous. 